Hello, the video keeps packing up, so we keep starting again. Is my hair still straight, Sarah? <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Here we go then. The other side. Um, just the same as before. What's that line? Mainly this line. And go down. You can stop and check that line every so often, but it should follow it. I would imagine most people will find it unusual I'm using both hands. Down to the shoulder line, clear a bit of the muck out, take it out. We've now gone right down. Horizontal again, or vertical. I think it's very cool. Put the saw back in and just let it follow those two cuts you've already done, keeping an eye on it. You don't have to watch this one because the saw follows the cut, but you can check. Hard one, beach. I always find beach tricky to saw and plane. How are we doing? We'll get in there. I suggest you pause and start it in a few seconds. A minute has passed and we're getting near the line. You don't want to go past the line, the shoulder line, so keep an eye on it. I'm about near this end. I can't see the mark. And it must be about there, that can be there. There we go. Run off a fraction there. Right, I've cut the shoulder. Here, right. I'm doing it in this voice because my bench is a bit low actually and it gives me backache <laughs> and I can see better here. Thumb on the line to guide the saw, nice and gentle, get it going, take your thumb out of the way, just follow the saw cut is against the line. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just keeping my eye on that one. Nice and gentle. Must be about there. Most people are just going to chisel and leave a that up and break it off. I'm trying to be a little bit more professional. I'm trying. 
one thing when you retire you don't have to work against the clock I can take my time.